Yes, so hi, I'm Kate from Genie and I am here with Richard Murray ahead of the Jam Festival. Hello. Hello, kid. How's it going? How are you? I'm wonderful. Good. <laughs> okay, so it's obviously been a really crazy 12 months for everybody and nobody would could have predicted that any of this was going to happen. So tell me what you've been up to over the last year and how you've had to adapt. Yeah, there's been a lot of adaption happening. I, uh, I've really had to find a few new skills. I've had to uh, learn how to produce myself and home record. I always had a bit of home recording skill. I was able to produce demos and things, but I've managed to record my new album entirely at home. And I've produced albums for uh, Clive John, another sing singer songwriter in an Irish band, uh, Pure Blarney. I've done their album. So it's been a bit of a, a steep learning curve. And uh, But yeah, I'm, there's a bit of a silver lining that I've managed to pick up a few new skills. Yeah. I was going to say it's a good time to kind of um, improve whatever you do and learn new skills. And I think that everyone's been doing the same thing. Um, yeah. Yeah. Have you missed live performances? Yeah, of course. Yeah. Live performances are sorely missed. I mean, I don't I don't miss getting in at, you know, 3.30 a.m. and carrying heavy amplifiers and <laughs> upstairs and all these kind of things, you know. Maybe when I was 20, not so much, <laughs> but the actual standing up and playing for a crowd and being able to, to do that is, uh, yeah, it's a big, it's a big hole in my life at the mm -hmm. minute. So I'm hoping to get back to that really soon. Yeah, well, obviously you just said about um, having to adapt things. So you're one of the artists that's going to be performing in our virtual festival with yeah. uh, Jam, which is Genie in partnership with Amplify X and Multiview Media. Um, hence the name. <laughs> Are you excited to showcase your track for us? Oh, I really am. I'm just, I'm just happy to be playing something. As I say, this is, it's all new material, and you know, the single came out and was quite well received. But it's just not the same as getting actually to play it for people. So even though it's still online, it's great just to actually perform it and have people listen, and it's a great platform to play it on. Mm -hmm. Um. So, which artists would you say have influenced you the most? Uh. Oh, I'm going to sound really old. I'm pretty old school. It's a, uh, well, it's kind of a country thing, I guess. Steve Earle had that alternative country thing going on that I was really a big fan of. Bruce Springsteen again, and added a, a kind of a rock element to it. Uh, Van Morrison, who's from here, he uh, he took that sort of American music and he added a, our sort of locality to it. You know, referenced uh, uh, Northern Ireland and made it kind of unique and and his own. So I've kind of I've lifted a few of the ideas and have. Uh, I've taken a lot from those guys over the mm -hmm. years, yeah. And uh, finally, Richard, what is your best advice for new or upcoming artists? Uh, I don't know if I'm in much of a position to give advice. I'm still up and coming myself for the last 20 years, but uh, <laughs> not so much young. I would say just be very wary of scams. There's so mm -hmm. many people who just want to, you know, take money and kind of prey on your dreams. Make sure you're get involved with people where there's a mutual benefit and they're really, you know, interested to work with you. You know, genie has been a great platform for that. They're very transparent and they're very, they've done so much for me already and it's really just kind of starting. Um, but yeah, over the years, I've, I've poured so many, so much money into a lot of things that just, you know, mm -hmm. pay to play. You should always, always avoid it. I would say. Um, well, that was wonderful. Thank you for your time today. My, my pleasure. Um, make sure that everybody streams the jam festival on April 10th.